we finally have every single card from Surging Sparks has been revealed. Some of these are going to be in Japanese, but we're going to see some of the English versions as well. We're going to look through every card, starting with this Kevin Durant card. Uh, we got the ant. This is a continued art card. Uh, you put them next to each other, and it, they just keep like marching down the line. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, for an SIR, eh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, it's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for this guy, the Milotic. This is another, so this is another connected art card. Um, the, the Phoebus that it evolves from, uh, goes down below here. Uh, and it kind of does like, kind of with 151, how like, you know, the Blastoise and the War Turtle and Squirtle and, and all those connected. This is another connected art card. This SIR is absolutely stunning in person. This card is going to be amazing. Um, some of these cards we've seen before, and some of them are new because we got the last few. Uh, so we have talked about some of these before, but I just want to give each card its due. The Milotic um, is, I think it's a stunning looking card. I really like the artwork here. Um, something to note if you guys are not familiar. Do you see this set size right here? So these are the secret rares. So we're in 237, 191 cards. This is a big set. So what this means is that these cards are going to be hard to pull. Uh, if we're getting the current or the same pull rates from the last sets, which we should be, some of these SIRs are going to be very difficult to pull. So uh, these are going to be a little little more rare. So that's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, then we have the Pikachu, which some people kind of like, some people didn't like. I like it personally, but I think what this card does, so the Japanese scan that we were getting before, it didn't didn't look very good. I don't. The colors on this English scan look much better, in my opinion. And yeah, the crowns don't bother me. I wasn't a fan of them at first, but I kind of just I think I just got used to it. Um, I mean, like I prefer it without the crown, but they don't really bother me. So uh, this with the rainbow borders, this might end up being a very expensive card. Um, let me know how expensive you guys think this card would be in the comments. Let me know your guesses. Uh, the Pikachu, um, but it does look much better in this English scan, uh, and I can't wait to see it with the texture and everything. It's going to be a cool card. Then we have the Latios. Um, this is another connected art card. There's a lot of connected art cards in this set. This goes to the Latios, which is an IR. This is an SIR, um, but yeah, it's nice to see the English um, versions here, but I'll be interested to see like this card. I feel like this card could really pop with the sunset and everything. It just depends on once we see the texture and everything. Uh, that will be interesting. Um, then we have, this is the Hydreigon. So this is another one, like, see how this, like, scan isn't very good? So, uh, and this, it looks, I mean, you can tell what's going on. This is going to be another one of those cards that I think might be very expensive. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this is their chase card from the set. Um, a lot of people like the Milotic as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, if you pulled the Milotic, the Hydreigon, or the Pikachu SIRs, you're not going to be complaining, right? So... Uh, another rainbow border stunning card. Uh, I, I can't wait to see a better scan of this. Once this gets cleaned up and in English with the texture, mm, I don't know. This card could end up being my favorite. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, then we have the walking building. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm really not a fan of this Pokemon. Just if I pulled this, if this was my SIR that I pulled opening a box, I'd be a, I'd be a little depressed. Uh, not depressed, but I'd be a little bummed out for sure. The building. Um, now, this was one that I would not be mad at pulling. I like this card a lot. Um, I used to not like this version of Executor. But everything with this card and the sunset and the basketball court. And he's just like derping, derping around uh, with the crown. And he's so colorful. I really like it. Florida Christmas tree. Uh, I would not be disappointed if I pulled this. Um, and then we're back to the Durant. Okay, so we're going to jump around. Uh, so these are the special illustration rare Pokemon. We're going to go to the uh, SIR supporters. So for me, if I was pulling, if these were my SIRs and I pull a supporter, I'd be a little bit like, uh, personally, because the Pokemon are so good in this set. Uh, and this guy ain't doing it for me. Uh, he's working on something. He's got his ranch out. Uh, not my cup of tea. Uh, we got Drayton. Here, he just looks like he's buying some cookies at the store. Once again, man, if I pull the supporter SIR, it's not going to do it for me. And then uh, this is the Jasmine eating a sandwich. Uh, I This will be interesting. Okay, so uh, if you guys aren't familiar with, like, the Japanese side, they got, like, the waifu cards. Um, usually, like, there's an SIR trainer. And usually they do well on the Japanese side. 
I don't... I'd be interested to see what this one does. Um, yeah. I definitely would be bummed if I pulled this. Uh, and then we have the Lysia's Appeal. This one will be more of... This is like the waifu card on the Japanese side. This will probably be the really expensive one. So, um, the Altaria is just chilling in the background. Um, this one's okay. I like it. The Pokemon in the background is a little bit better. Probably be more valuable. Uh, probably the most valuable card in the set. Uh, then we have the gold cards here. Uh, the gold Pikachu would be... I wouldn't be mad pulling that, too. I think it looks... I mean, phew. It's kind of like... Um, the uh, Galarian Gallery golds, the four golds, those are stunning in person. I would imagine that this would be the same. Uh, another one right here. I'd love to pull this, the gold version of this. Um, be interesting to see if some of these gold cards have a little bit more value than we've seen in the past. Probably not, but we'll see. It's possible. Um, we got this guy. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is some sort of forest uh, area. And we got, like, <laughs> what is this, a stretcher? Uh, and then the energy. So uh, those are the golds. We'll go back up to... So these are full art supporters. Um, once again, not not particularly my cup of tea um, for the trainers. We got this guy. He's looking slick. He's got his hat on. He's ready to party. Uh, we got the bone the bone lady. Um, it is nice seeing these cards in the like full quality scans. They do look better. Drayton again. We got Jasmine's Gaze. Lysia's Appeal, just the full art, and the Surfer, and then back to this guy. Um, next up, we're going to, so these are the full art, these are the full art Pokemon. So we got Kevin Durant, we got the Scovalian, the Milotic, that's a, it's nice, nice looking full art, I like that. Uh, the Black Curum is, is a great looking card, too bad he didn't get uh, an IR or an SIR, would have been pretty cool. He got shafted a little bit. Um, the Pikachu full art is looking real nice in its uh, rainbow border there. It's looking cool. Uh, the Latias is cool too. His Look at his little arms in this. <laughs> his stubby little arms. Um, then we got, I think this is the Palo Sand. This one, I don't know. I don't know if I like, I don't think I like this one. Not really a fan of the Pokemon uh, too much. The Flygon's looking pretty good. This is kind of like the Lapras from Stellar. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice looking card. The Rainbows are doing good. I, uh, this is the Hydreigon? Yeah, this is the Hydreigon. I don't know what's going on with this scan. Uh, it does not look good. Uh, we got the building, the Executor, Lolan Executor. Um, yeah, I like this. These are cool. Um, is this Tatsugiri? I think. Um, we got the Slacking, the Cyclozar. Cyclozar is looking good, too. Those cards do look nice. So those are the full art. Now we're going to get into the, these are the illustration rares here. The execute, love this card. I love everything about it. Uh, they're chilling. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how they've been working out. If they've been skateboarding and playing basketball and tennis and rollerblading, I don't know how they're doing that. But if they are, that's amazing. Uh, good for them. Uh, but yeah, I like this. It connects with the executor, so I like that a lot. The pavilion, um, the artwork like down here is super cool on the stump, but the Pokemon looks just like a little off. I mean, it's a cool card, but. Um, I don't know, the art just doesn't really connect. Uh, this, I love it. Everything about this card, um, the color palette and everything. Super cool card. Uh, Shenotic. Um, the cast form is kind of fun too. You got the, the sunny form and then you got the other forms like down here chilling. Uh, this is a very, it's a very colorful card. It's nice. Um, this guy, I, uh, I can't remember the name of this Pokemon. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember. Um, I do know his name. Uh, anyways, this is a horrible picture as well. Uh, hard to tell if I like that card from that scan. The Cerulege. The Cerulege of all the IRs, I think, has some potential to maybe maybe do like a, a Groudon kind of IR. Uh, maybe. I mean, we'll see. Like an EV level. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, I just think that the Pokemon is cool and this art is really good. We'll see how difficult it is to pull. So the Phoebus. 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 Uh, this is the bottom of the Milotic, so uh, really cool there. This feel, super adorable. Um, I like his little teeths, his little teeth sticking out. Um, this was like a Pokemon that they were like, hey, we need another plushie. Plushie Pokemon right there. Um, Brux Bruxish. I've talked about this card before. Not the biggest fan, personally, but uh, I like the water 
vibes. I just don't like the Pokemon as much. It's okay. So Titan, uh, this guy's kind of cute. So Totoro uh, evolution. Uh, we got this is uh, Stunfisk, I believe. That's okay. This one's okay. Um, the Latios. So this connects to the Latios. Really cool card. Once again, the st sometimes the stubby arms throw me off. I don't know why. Um, but cool card, cool Pokemon. Like the connected art. I'm a big fan of those. My spirits looking super adorable. Uh, just chilling there in the sunset as well. Uh, the Fanfi card I do like a lot. Um, I do like from. Uh, I mean, fan of the Pokemon uh, from Gold and Silver, right? Gen two. Uh, but like the Pokemon, I think it's super adorable. They went for cutesy, and I think it works. The Bravavas like really popping. Really pops me. That's pretty cool as well. Clobopus. Now, I thought this card... So, I was checking out this card uh, yesterday. And I don't know much about this Pokemon. Not the biggest fan, but this description is hilarious. So, it says, It's very curious, but its means of investigating things is to try to punch them with its tentacles. The search for food is what brings it onto land. I thought that was a horrible... Uh, not horrible. Hilarious description. Then we have Alolan Dugtrio. With the hair. Rocking the hair. Uh, love this card. Love everything about it. Uh, got the mullets going on. <laughs> uh, this is just silly. It's just fun and silly. Skarmory. Absolutely stunning with the vans. Uh, pulled this. I have multiple copies of this uh, from Paradise Dragona. Uh, the Flapple. It's a fun card too. I like this one. Um, the Flapple Pokemon has really been growing on me. Uh, if I'm being honest. Appleton. Um, same thing. This looks like... Uh, Great British Bake Off thing. I've been watching Bake Off, so that's so where my mind's at. Um, then we got... Oh, this one's okay. I kind of Sometimes I like when they're just chilling, sleeping. Um, we got the Chameleon with, with all the other ones in the background. That one's okay. It's pretty cool. The Braviary kind of has like... um, What's that? Starry Night painting. Kind of has like that aesthetic to me. Uh, like this one. I like this one uh, a good bit. All right, and so that is the IR Pokemon. We're gonna end up. We're gonna go through every single card in here, so we can it can get its time. Uh, we got a little energy, uh, a spec energy. That's cool. Um, what else we got? Okay, so these are these are the trainers. All right, we're gonna go through these. Amulet of Hope. We're not gonna spend too much time on these. I'm gonna go through these pretty quick. Um, we're not looking at this too much from like a TCG uh, aspect currently. Just kind of showing some of the cards that are in in here. Dragon Elixir, Dragon Lady, Drayton, Duskfall, Energy Search Pro, Gravity Mountain, Jasmine's Gaze, Lycia's Appeal, Lively Stadium, uh, the Megaton Blower, Miracle Headset, Tasho Berry, Precious Trolley, Scramble Switch, Surfer, TM, Fluorite, Terra Orb, Time, Amulet of Hope, Babiri Berry, Brilliant Blender, Call Bell, Clement's Quit Wick, Culberberry, Counter Gain, Serrano, Deduction Kit, Dragon Elix. Okay, we did these. All right, that's it. We went through all of those? Oh, yeah. We definitely did. I apologize. We went through a few of them twice. Um, I will try. We will try to not do that. Okay, so these are the normal types. Um, once we get to Eevee, we've gone around. i got to remember that. Eevee. Snor look at this Snorlax. I like the Snorlax. He's yelling. Slackoth, Vigoroth, Slack King. EX, you got the Swablu, Zangoose, the Chameleon, Buffalant, Rufflet, Braviary, Heliolisk, uh, Tandemouse, Mousehold, Cyclozar, Flamingo, Tropagos, and that should be it. So those are the normals. We will go through these guys. Um, Lolan Executor EX, we got the Altaria, Dialga, Palkia, Turtonator, Applin, Flapple, Appleton, Eternatus, Tatsugiri, and Executor again. Then over here, we got the little Diglett with some hair. We got the nice looking Dugtrio, Skarmory, Registeel, Bronzor, Bronzong, Klefki, Building, Building, Goldango, Iron Crown, Diglett with some hair again. Um, looks like there's not that many dark, there's not that many darkies in this one. Zoelius. Zoelius? Hydreigon. Shrewdle. Graphrae and Dano. Okay. Um, I don't normally do this um, for... We don't normally go through like every single card, but I'm kind of digging it. Um, it's a little bit different, but we're going to do it. Tauros, Famfi, Donphan, 
Trap Inch, Vibrava, Flygon, Gastrodon, Drillber, Excadrill, Landorus, uh, Clobopus, <laughs> uh, this guy, <laughs> Glimit, some of the names, Glamora, Coridon, and we're back to Mankey. Fighting types. Now we're into what are these psychics. We're starting with, oopsie, Togepi. And we skipped Togepi. We got, sorry, we got a little off. Togepi, Togetic, Togetic, Togekiss, Meryl, Azumarill, Smoochum, Latias EX, Latios, Uxi, Mespirit, Azelf, Siglyph, Yamask, some of these, Esper, Meowstic. Oh, we got a Sylveon in here. I didn't know there was a Sylveon in this set. Uh, Xerneas, Oricorio, Sandygast, Palosand, Tapu Lele, Indeedee, Flittle, Espartha, Fluttermane, Gimme Ghoul, and back to Togepi. So those are the psychic types. Uh, we go do the electric real quick, starting off with the Pikachu EX, Magnemite, Magneton, Magnezone, Rotom, Blitzel, I like Blitzel, uh, Zebestrika, Sunfisk, Tapu Coco, Watchroll, Kilowattroll, Kilowattroll EX, Maridon, back to Pikachu. Uh, water types, we got Water Tauros, Mantine, Phoebus, Melotic, Sfeel, Sealio, Walrein, Shellos, this guy, <laughs> Kirim, Bruxish, Quaxly, Quaxwell, Quaquaval, Satoddle, Satitan, Iron Bundle, Jinpao, back to Tauros, those are the waters. We got some fire types here, starting with Vulpix, Ninetales, Tauros again, Ho-Oh, Castform, Victini, Panseer, Samusir, Larvesta, that's the name of that Pokemon, Volcarona, Oracorio, Sizzlepede, Centiscorch, Fuecoco, Crocolore, Skeledurge, Charcadet, Charcadet, Armourouge, Cerulege, Cerulege, Scovellian, Gouging Fire, back to Vulpix. Uh, for grass types, these are, these are the last ones right here. Execute, Execute, Executor, Kevin Durant, Scatterbug, Spupa, Vivillian, Morlul, Shenotic, Delmise, Zarud, Capsicid, Reller, Rabska, Wochin, and back to Execute. So, that is every single card, every single last one from Surging Sparks, uh, with a lot of them being in English, which was really cool to see. I liked being able to see uh, the English cards. Like I said, that one Pikachu, um, I thought it looked much better. It looked much better uh, in the English scan. Um, I can't wait to see a lot of these cards in person. This set is going to be very interesting. I'm really going to keep a close eye on Surging. We're, we're still, what, like a month out? It's November or something. Um, I think... The Supercharged Breaker, the Japanese set, should be coming out tomorrow. So that will be interesting. Um, I do have some boxes coming of that. don't know when they will arrive. Um, we'll see. I got those from PokeNE. If you guys are interested, you can use the code not a phase. Um, I get nothing from that. No kickbacks. Nothing. No discounts. I'm not getting paid. Uh, just if you guys want to order from him uh, and save yourself some money, uh, you guys can do that. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts on Surging Sparks is now that we've seen every single card. Um, I think it's going to be a good set. How good uh, is remain to be seen, but I think it'll do well. This is kind of a lot of hype around it, so we'll see what happens. Um, but that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.